Hello guys, JNM here with the next part about creating a stylized asset and I will use Blender 2.81 again, the experimental build for sculpting the details. Here's our fence model from the previous part, very low poly and to create the high poly mesh for sculpting, I will use the new remesher from Pablo Dubarro, this is why I use Blender 2.81. The model consists of two objects, I selected the one in the front and then I switched to sculpt mode so that I can remesh it. I want to increase the resolution of the geometry so that I can sculpt in the details. To see the remesh option you have to enable the toolbar, here you can find it in the upper right hand corner and then I increase the voxel size or you decrease the number, this means you have a higher resolution and I set it here to 0.004. I tried this number and it produces a resolution that is, in my opinion, quite okay for sculpting in the first details, we can increase it again later on. When I go here to edit mode, you can see that the topology is quite dense. So we are finished with the first object, the resolution is increased and now I do just the same for the other object. I go to object mode, select it, then to sculpt mode and also remesh it to increase the resolution. I use the same voxel size, then I press remesh and you can see this remesher is really fast. Ok, we are prepared, I go to sculpt mode and instead of using the mouse I use a tablet. First I thought that I should recommend to use a tablet, but it's more than a recommendation, you have to use it. But it's absolutely affordable. For this video I used a Gaemon S620, the guys from Gaemon sent it to me. So I tried it, normally I use a Wacom tablet and I have to say it worked pretty nice. The tablet has a very good pressure sensitivity with over 8000 levels. It comes with a battery free pen, which is great and it isn't expensive. You can get it for about $30, I added a link to the description below. And beside of that it was really easy to install and set up also with Blender. The only point that could bother you is when you are using a Wacom tablet, then you would have to uninstall the Wacom drivers first, so this could be annoying just in this case. I press the H key to hide the other object so that I can focus on this one in sculpt mode and now I select the scrape brush because the first task is to sculpt stylized edges for this wood blanks. So I use my tablet and the pen to go slightly over the edges of this object in sculpt mode and the goal is here to create edges that look stylized and good. So what does it mean? Well. You just have to try it, ok? You have to play around with the brush size, with the distance to the object in the viewport, with the strength of the brush and you can't learn this from watching. I can tell you about the tools that I use and of course how I use them but you have to practice and you have to find out on your own what works and what doesn't. And I can see here what I forgot to enable, this is the pressure sensitivity option for the radius. It's a good idea to have this activated. Ok, I speed this up here a bit because this is all the same for the edges. Alright, good enough for the first round, now I do the same for the other object that is hidden at the moment. So go to object mode and press Alt and H to make this visible again 
then I hide this part and go back to sculpt mode. And this is now the same method again for this object. I use the scrape brush to create nice stylized edges. Don't be too fast, do it with love to detail and you will see that you get a better result. For areas with a bad shading, you can use the smooth brush with a high strength and then kind of smooth away these parts. Ok guys, I will speed up again because you guess it, it's the same technique as before. Ok, and now it's time to add these cracks and details for a stylized wood and normally I use third party brushes for this, but in this tutorial I wanted to use just default brushes. So I switch here to the grease brush to carve in the details to the wood. Be sure to have the pressure sensitivity enabled for the radius and the strength and then again practice. Use different sizes, use different strength and undo often till you have the feeling that your stroke is more confident and fits your requirement. And when you found something that works then stick to it and play around with this setting. It takes a lot of time till you got used to it but once you're there it feels great. Ok, I speed this up again. You can watch and enjoy, but don't forget that you have to practice this.
Okay, good enough for the sake of this tutorial, of course you can go ahead and add more and more details if you like. But now let's switch to sculpt mode for the first object and also add the details. At this stage I increase the resolution again to add more and finer details to the mesh. Alright guys, I will stop here, of course you can increase the resolution again and add more details, no problem, go crazy with it. Use a lower size for the brush then, add finer details, great. But if something doesn't work or if it doesn't work from the start, and it won't work from the start, don't be frustrated, it's normal. You just have to keep on practicing. Look at this, this is the first model that I created and it was horrible. But anyway, I'm proud of it. I modeled, sculpted, retopoed, painted and animated it. It was kind of ugly, but it was mine. So don't give up, stick to it. You will become better and better if you are consistent. So guys, that's it again for this kind of motivational tutorial. I hope you like it. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned. And if you have any questions about this tutorial, then just add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and I see you soon here on JNM.